The internet has become an integral part of everyone's life. Without it, we are left disconnected from the world. Around the globe, shutting down the internet has become an increasingly popular tactic of governments to stifle dissent, raising concerns about restricting freedom of speech and expression. When talking about internet blockades, India has had multiple instances of state-ordered shutdowns affecting lakhs of citizens and communities. According to a report by Access Now, India led the world last year in its internet shutdowns, closely followed by Yemen. With the internet becoming an inextricable part of life, the recent shutdown of the internet in various parts of India has generated a lot of debate. The internet blackout in Jammu and Kashmir became the world's longest internet shutdown in a democratic country, which after 18 months was restored in the Union Territory. This kind of shutdown not only cuts people off from the internet during conflict when residents are in danger and struggling to stay safe, but it also expands the digital divide among people of different classes and income levels, said the digital rights campaign in its report. The Indian government may justify most shutdowns as precautionary, but India has a history of ordering shutdowns targeting political demonstrations, a trend that appears to be accelerating and spreading across all Indian states and union territories, the report said. Besides India, countries like Bangladesh, Myanmar, Yemen, Ethiopia and others entrenched the use of shutdowns even during the pandemic. Lauding Congress leader Rahul Gandhi's candid admission that the emergency imposed 45 years ago was a mistake, the ruling Maha Vikas Aghadi MVA jumped to its feet and said, now it's the turn of the ruling party at the centre to own up its mistakes. Maharashtra State Congress President Nana Patole, Nationalist Congress Party spokesperson and Minister Nawab Balik, Shiv Sena leader Kishore Tiwari and Samajwadi Party State President Abu Asim Azmi made near-identical demands from the Bharatiya Janta Party after Gandhi's surprise statement on Tuesday. Patole said that the Congress leader Rahul Gandhi has owned up that the 21-month-long emergency imposed in 1975 was a mistake. Now, will Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the BJP also admit that the 2002 Gujarat riots were a blunder and own up their responsibility, Patole demanded. Balik said that after the Congress's submission that somehow the emergency was not the right step, it's now the turn of the BJP to reciprocate and accept its own mistake of the Gujarat riots. Assam government has launched a website for the unemployed youths in the state the website congressor5guarantee.in was launched by the Assam Congress today in Guwahati. The website is being launched by the Assam Congress for the unemployed youths in the state who will be given jobs in different sectors after the Congress gets back to power. The process of registration for jobs got underway soon after the launch of the website. The Congress said we will work on priority to fulfill our jobs guarantee once elected to power. The website has received good response with nearly 800 youths registering themselves for jobs within an hour of the launch. The Congress further guaranteed creation of a separate department for providing jobs to the unemployed youths of Assam. This new department would come to be known as Ministry of Jobs, said Lok Sabha MP Gaurav Gogoi. This new ministry will be accountable as there will be a separate minister for it, said Pradyut Bordoloi. Meanwhile, Siddhiya Congress leader Sushmita Dev said that once Congress returns to power, 50% reservations for jobs would be made for women in Assam. Six-time world champion boxer Mary Com has been appointed as the chairperson of the International Boxing Association's AIBA's Champions and Veterans Committee. In a letter issued by AIBA President Umar Kremlev, it has been stated that, with great pleasure, I inform you that you have been selected to serve as the chairperson of the AIBA Champions and Veteran Committee following the mail vote by the Board of Directors of AIBA. I am confident with your vast knowledge and experience you will make a valuable contribution to the success of this important committee, he added. The 2012 Olympic bronze medalist Mary Com was elected by the Board of Directors of AIBA. The committee, formed in December last year, consists of the most respected worldwide boxing veterans and champions who have achieved significant results and who are ready to share their experience. 